share this video so other people could see how awesome vegan food can be. Oh, that kind of rhymed and I didn't even do it on purpose. <laughs> hey, welcome back you guys. So if this is your first time stopping by, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell right next to it. That way you'll be notified whenever a new video goes up and you won't miss any delicious food. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these delicious, amazing vegan omelets. I honestly think that they taste better than the egg omelets. I mean, I they just like, I was never like a huge, huge fan of like scrambled egg kind of stuff, but these omelets are like so amazing. Let's get veggie. Alright guys, so let's get down to business. Alright, so for this omelet, um, we're going to be using, uh, what is this called? Uh, chickpea flour. <laughs> so we're going to be using a half a cup of chickpea flour, water, and then we're going to be using our paprika, uh, salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. The full recipe will be linked down below. And then we're just going to go ahead and whisk this up. Alright guys, so for our veggies, I've already chopped up half a red onion, one red bell pepper, and a handful of uh, button mushrooms. And then we also have half of a vegan sausage. I'm using field roast chipotle, Mexican chipotle. This is my favorite sausage, um, vegan sausage, so I always like to toss that into like my omelets. So we're going to go ahead and start off by throwing in uh, one tablespoon roughly a tablespoon of uh, oil into our pan. Next we're going to go ahead and start tossing in our veggies. I'm also going to be adding a little bit of salt and I'm going to crack some pepper over top. And you want to cook these until they become like nice and tender, the onions become translucent. Next I'm going to go ahead and add in our uh, sausage and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of like crumble this in. It's super messy but it's all so worth it because it tastes so good. Alright and with these sausages, these field roast sausages, you just want to make sure that you don't overcook these because then they get like a nasty taste to them. But you just want to make sure that you kind of like cook them but like basically you don't really have to cook these. You're, you're, you're basically just warming these up. You don't want to like burn these and have a nasty taste to them. So you just want to, that's why I kind of like cooked all my veggies until they became tender before I threw in our sausage. Alright, and once our filling is ready, we're just going to go ahead and put this to the side. So moving on to our omelet, I'm just going to go ahead and give this a quick stir to make sure nothing like kind of like settled or anything. So a quick stir, and then in a medium pan, I'm just going to go ahead and pour about half of this batter in. It's about half. And you're going to want to kind of like move this around in a circular motion to make sure that the whole pan is like nice and covered. I have the heat here on medium low because you just want to make sure that everything cooks through all the way. So once this becomes kind of like dry on that side you're going to go ahead and flip it over. Alright and next I'm going to go ahead and put in our filling. And then you're going to go ahead and just flip over the other side just like you would with a regular omelet. My spatula is not working in my favor because of course I decided to use a bad spatula today. Um, you can also go ahead and add some cheese if you wanted to at this point. Alright guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and slide this baby onto our plate. And I'm going to add a fourth of an avocado that I just sliced. Just lay that bad boy on there. And then I'm just going to use some of my ranch sauce, homemade ranch sauce, and just drizzle that right over the top. This just adds like a little freshness and yumminess to our dish. 
And last, you can go ahead and add a little dying leaf of cilantro because my leaf looks like it's dying. But there you have it. All right, guys, time for the taste test cam. So this is just like so amazing. Ugh. Mmm. You guys. This is like amazing. This is so delicious. If you guys make this, I just say please make this. Please make this. You're going to absolutely love it. I guarantee you're going to love this. So, please go ahead and make it. I'm trying to eat here. So, I'm going to let you go. Because it's so So that is it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, let me know what you guys think about the new setup and the new, like, filming technique and all that stuff. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe, share this video so other people could see how awesome vegan food can be. Oh, that kind of rhymed, and I didn't even do it on purpose. <laughs> so, but anyways, go ahead and click on one of these videos to continue watching, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye, guys.